Guys, <laughs> just wanted to share this with you. This is the Lynx, or what do you call that? Lux, Lux Pro, Lux Pro, um, Mini Stratocaster for, you know, for kids. Um, beautiful little guitar. Like the woodwork is really nice. The nitro finish on it is super nice, right? It's really nice. There's no pitting, there's no scratches. Well, there's a couple, a couple little scuff marks, I guess. Um, the black hardware kind of looks cool. Uh, I'm not sure the black hardware with the white pickguard really, you know, <laughs> really complements each other, but it's, you know, it's all right. And um, super, super light. And the neck is nice. It's satin finish. It's not covered in that crappy, uh, you know, nitrocellulose like like uh, a lot of guitars are. So it's nice that it's a it's a satin finish neck. So you could kind of kind of sand that and oil it up and make it really nice and smooth. It's kind of stupid how they, you know, they extend from the neck pocket, they extend the big square block of the neck like another two, two inches, like, right? Cause you, you could have all this, this could all be neck, like rounded neck. So anyway, um, I didn't buy this. Uh, a friend of mine, um, we'll call her DL. Actually, I, I uh, set up one of her guitars in, in the Charvel in my other videos there. Um, she bought this for her grandson. It's a kit. It comes with an amp and all this stuff. And they're super inexpensive. And um, she she said she just she just took it out to check it to make sure it was good before you know Christmas rolls around and she gives it to him and there's a problem. So um, and in case she had to return it at Amazon. Um, so she asked me if I could take a look at it and you know check it out and see why it's not staying in tune. So I just uh, I just tuned it up and uh, let's see. <laughs> watch this okay guys and girls watch this <laughs> right so if you tune it open string like and you know you do like a g chord or whatever like that's not too bad but then you do like an e or bar chord and it's like oh god <laughs> Um, you know, it, it frustrates me to no end because there's no need for this. Like, if you're going to put a guitar out, like, for children or for, for kids to kind of want to get the interest in learning how to play, this is not going to do it. It's not going to get it done. Like, come on, take a, take 10 more minutes out of your, you know, putting guitars together and just set it up. Like, the nut height is ridiculously high. So as soon as you push down on the fret, you're you're tightening that string through the nut, so it's actually making it sharper. You know that's how high the the string is at the nut. Like just you know fix that, right? Like it it doesn't have to be like that. Once you get one guitar set up right, you just copy all the other ones to that to that one. Like in the shop, right? You could have one kind of a demo model in the shop. And you could just base all your measurements off that one. You just have to do one, and then all the other ones you just copy. They're all CNC machined anyway, because there's a lot of good aspects to this. The looks, it looks awesome. The kid, man, if I got this at Christmas and I was a kid, I'd be freaking out. This is a great guitar. Um, look wise, weight wise is good. Tuners are, you know, as to be expected, they pretty much suck. But they, they're not slipping. They're, it, it just, the guitar just won't stay in tune, but it's not the tuner's fault. Um, they, all the tuners are well installed except the, the low E string. Check this out. So, I don't know if you can even see that, but so this, this one tuner is like tilted this way. <laughs> so I, sh I need to unscrew this and turn the tuner, you know, um, this way, just about, I don't know, just about a quarter of a turn, just turn it and then re-screw it, but then you'd have a hole there. So I'm not gonna touch that. 
not for you know a kid's Christmas gift. And he's not going to notice. It's just a kid. It won't affect the tuning. It's just ugly. Because if you look closely, you'll see that that top tuner is. Uh, let me get out of the black on black here. That top tuner is leaning to one side, where all the other ones are good. Um, the intonation. Look, look at this bridge. Just by looking at the bridge, you you know it's not intonated, right? The saddles are totally in wrong. Like they're not even close to a staggered position. Um, anyway, but. The electronics, I, I, I gotta say the fret work, like if I go side to side, I don't feel any frets at all. So there's no sharp frets sticking out of, of the neck, which is pretty cool. Uh, my buddy Two Bike Mike uh, did a video on one of these and uh, it, it was bad. Like, it, well, it wasn't one of these, it was the same brand. I think it was a Lux Pro and his was a Tele and you should see it now, it's awesome. And I think he's gonna do a Nashville Tele out of it, but um, um, he, you know, he had a lot of fret work to do. This one is not bad. I'm sure there's some high frets on this, but again, because it's, you know, just a kid who doesn't know how to play, I just wanted to, to be comfortable, um, stay in tune, and, you know, to, to kind of sound decent. These pickups are totally, you know, they're not adjusted. So here's the, here's the bridge pickup. Here's both of them together. Sorry, that went to the that's pretty balanced like from this one to this one but then when you go to the middle one it's like holy crap it's like super loud so the middle one has to come down and then when you go in the middle it kind of loses a bunch of volume again and then when you go to the top it's kind of loud again so I just a lot of inconsistencies with the pickups but everything works you know the volume's nice The neck, you know, and the playability, because of the small frets, it feels great. Oh my gosh. still tuned but uh, so I'm gonna see what I can do to fix this I'll be back so look at the crap look at the job they've done see those screws look how those screws for the claw are in there and look at the poly look at that poly uh, coating see the drip how thick it is it almost oh my gosh it's ridiculous and underneath the springs it looks like a coating of glass down there. It's absolutely ridiculous. And down here, down here, look, look at the big drippage of <laughs> polyurethane down there. It's ridiculous. And look at this tiny, this tiny little bridge. Like I know the guitar is inexpensive, but come on. And three of the strings, these three strings, they will not come out. Like I'm gonna have to poke those out with a needle or something. It's, it's absolutely shoddy workmanship. Come on. Like, the guitar is actually pretty. Like, you can just, you don't have to, like, slobber all over it. Like, oh, man, these companies, I'm telling you. And right now, I'm, you know, I'm talking uh, Lux Pro, but all these companies, it's free. Like, take a little time in your work. Like, oh, my gosh, it doesn't have to be that bad. It's ridiculous. I'm going to have to fix that. Okay, so we're in the shed and I just use this Dremel with a grinding bit to take off all of this excess poly that had dripped in there and down here in the cavity because the, the bridge was hitting on this extra poly stuff. And that's not me who gouged that. The route was just poorly, poorly done. Like the route down here is all like kind of, you know, chewed up. That was just a bad route so what well, not me it wasn't me so I just drilled these two holes and there were three holes in there to hold this one claw so let me ask you this how hungover do you have to be to screw up two holes on a claw that's supposed to go you know to the back of the guitar like that 
Like really, this is where the claw goes. And look, you can see one of the holes is over here that they drilled. That's why that screw was all an angle. The other one, they moved it over lower. And then this one was off to an angle in the back. Like, come on. <laughs> it's just, you know, if you're going to build a guitar for a kid to get excited about playing guitar, just drill a straight hole for the love of God. <laughs> All right, I'm going to plug these holes with these dowels and this LePage glue, and then I'll re-install uh, the claw. There, holes are plugged. Drilled two new holes. Took all of 15 minutes. Too bad they can't do that at the factory. There, reinstalled, nice and straight. Um, everything lines up. Nothing touches anymore. No big lobs of polyurethane hitting the bridge or preventing this claw from going back and forward so anyway that's done all right so everything's ready to get restrung on this thing i ended up changing the nut i had a i had a graftech pre-slotted nut for fender um telecasters that actually fit in here because it's a flat bottom the bottom of the of the neck here so this nut fit perfectly and this nut that I took out is just a cheap plastic nut and it was actually cracked so when I lifted it out um, it came out in two pieces <laughs> so the nut was cracked right on the the D string so anyway that's garbage so I gotta put some strings in this see if we can intonate the back uh, of the bridge here like intonate these uh, saddles and hopefully get this thing to stay in tune. But these tuners, I kind of uh, take back what I said about the tuners weren't bad. Uh, they suck. Well, especially this one. This one's really loose. There's a ton of slop in it. And uh, I can't fix it. But anyway, I don't know if it's only in the tuning uh, peg or if it's in the, like, the post. Uh, if it's in the post, it could be a problem. If it's in the peg, well, once it's tuned, hopefully... The post will stay solid, but anyway, uh, if, it were, if it was my guitar, I would change these in a heartbeat, but uh, it's not, so hopefully it'll work. Anyway, if she wants to change them down the road, I can do that for her, but for now, that's it. Um, I oiled the fretboard because it was really dry, and I had to give it like four coats. Uh, finally, it's nice and uh, you know smooth. So anyway, it's ready to go. I'm going to string it up, and we'll see what we get. Okay, so we're done. Strings are on. Uh, tuners are meh, but they, they hold tune, so it's not too bad. Uh, this nut works great. Uh, actually, you know what? I actually found a crack in here. So it's it's almost like this was cracked and they glued it. See that? There's like glue here on the back of the nut. So probably when they were dicking around with the nut, they probably cracked this little piece and just glued it back together. It's fine, it's holding. The new nut's in there, it's all crazy glued in. It's good, nice and solid. The nut height's perfect. These pre-cut slotted nuts work great on these guitars. Um, and it seems to be holding tune well. And uh, the pickups I just adjusted, the intonation was totally off. Uh, one thing when you set the intonation is on these small guitars, uh, because the scale length is so short, um, the slightest little movement front or back with the saddle makes a huge difference with the intonation. Whereas a 25 and a half inch scale neck, you can move the saddle back quite a bit before you, you know, before you get a, uh, any major movement, like, uh, you know, for your intonation. What I find anyway. But with this, it was like micro movements. And you'll see how close these saddles are. So this one is a little bit taller as it should be. This one's just slightly further back. Slightly further back, then slightly taller, and then further back and further back. So it's the same pattern. It's kind of like a diagonal and then up and then diagonal. But they're very, very close to each other. There isn't a big difference between the saddles as compared to like a full-scale guitar. So anyway, um, so other than the slop behind the, you know, the claw and where the bridge the springs connect, uh, that was nasty. Clean that up. Claws reinstalled. Um... Everything's good. The bridge sits flat on the guitar. Um, if he wants to use the trem, he's going to have to loosen the screws because the trem's set pretty tight right now. So the guitar holds tune better. Uh, yeah. 
So anyway, it was uh, it, it was just it just needed a lot of TLC. So these uh, I guess they're called Lix L Y X Lix Pros. They're um they're pretty good. They're pretty nice guitars. But uh, if you get one, you can expect you're gonna have to do some work to it because out of the box they suck. I'm just gonna be honest. They really suck. Um, but uh, you know, with a little bit of TLC, I think it'll be pretty good. We're gonna test it out right now. All right, let's try this little jam track here. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
not be perfect, but it's a big improvement from what it was. So there you have it. Um, I think it's worth the 250 bucks they charge for it, especially if you can get a little discount. Uh, if you call them up and say that, uh, you know, the guitar is crap, because <laughs> you know what? Out of the box, it is. But with a little TLC, a little patience, um, it's good. So that's it, guys. Take care. God bless, and uh, thanks for watching. See ya.